Equity prices saw a little bit of a stumble on Wednesday, but certainly nothing to write home about. We remained above 2,900 in the E-mini S&P, still a stone's throw away from the all-time high, uh, and the market trend remains firmly in place. Nothing that's going to happen today, yesterday, probably a week from today is going to knock equities off their rails right now. They seem to be going very strong. We've got a huge move. The lows of the year, don't forget, were put in on January 4th. So this could be one of those times where we just see the market continue to extend higher. I think we'll probably run into a little bit of resistance as we get closer to that 2950. However, the market seems very, uh, very strong here. A lot of longs being added to the equity markets at these levels. Sort of that fear of missing out uh, trade that we hear so much about. Uh, and I think that's kind of what's kept the market moving. Um, if you look over at the volatility index, the VIX, touched its lowest level since August of 2018. So there is no fear being priced into the market of any kind of a reversal. Uh, yeah, we could see a modest downtick if we got below, back below 2,900 for any sustained period. I don't even think that scares uh, the longs. I think you're gonna need to see a 10 to 15% correction before people start raising an eyebrow. And right now that does not look like it's going to happen uh, with some of the numbers we're getting, uh, whether it be from the from the economy or from the from the earnings reports. It seems that the stock market seems very pleased right now with the way things are going. Obviously, volatility or reflection of that. And if you take the Fed out of play in 2019, which it seems they are, we had the beige book come out today. It looked like things are going OK. It does. The market's still not pricing in any kind of rate hike. Uh, in 2019, certainly looking more towards a cut in 2020 than anything else. But I, I think at this point, it's going to be a Fed watching and waiting. Uh, and that means that stocks can certainly go higher with the idea that there isn't a, cut, a rate hike coming to try and stymie that. And lastly, let's look at those earnings reports. We have some names coming out to end the holiday shortened week. Uh, American Express, Blackstone, Honeywell, uh, is, is just to name a few. And I think a lot of these are gonna, are, could have a little bit of impact. The, the, the green has been flowing on a lot of these earnings reports, which has aided uh, in, in some of this market rally, or at least keeping the market at these, at these higher levels. And I don't see any reason why that would change. I think at this point, going in home uh, ahead of a holiday weekend, you may see some modest selling, but I don't think you're gonna see any major positions uh, you know, exit. Certainly ahead of a three-day weekend. Uh, likewise, with the data coming in the way it has, it looks like things are better. Uh, it looks like the growth numbers for the first quarter will be stronger than expected. That had been a concern uh, a, a month or so ago. We looked at, at GDP being very low. Now we're back up. I think expectations are somewhere around 2.5%. So certainly not knocking the cover off the ball, but well off those lows that we saw uh, back in March. So right now, uh, equity markets steady as she goes. Uh, I don't see any reason why we get toppled here. The bond market's having its ups and downs. We're seeing uh, commodities get hit. We're seeing the dollar trade steady. But the one, the one sure thing seems to be equities here. And as we head into the long weekend after tomorrow, uh, 2950 is in the sights of the E-mini S&P. And right now, buyers are likely going to take us there sooner than later.